Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. It's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your models have practically built them yourself. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to the Kit Hoarder Stash. I'm Mad Dog Merv and today, well, we've had a power outage. So we've only got light in part of the doghouse. But what we do have is we have got, well, for the train lovers, we've got a train. And for the model lovers, we got a model. I know it sounds confusing, but we've got the General. Okay, this is an old kit. Um, it's old because I'm old. It's from like the early 1980s, and it's by MPC. It is a beautiful representation of a 440 um, wood-burning uh, steam locomotive, and we are going to take a look at this. It is in 125th scale, so it goes perfect with all my cars and, you know, whatnot in 125th scale. So let's, let's take a gander at this thing. First time I've been in this box. So here we've got the destructions with a um, little bit of history of it. Uh, apparently it comes with a road bed and track for a display stand. Uh, partially assembling the tender. Love me tender. And here we got more of the tender. Um, looks like we're working on the trucks of the tender there. Add a bit to just the tender. And some more work on the tender. And then finally we're going to start working on the, uh, on the locomotive itself. Again, this is a wood burner, so it has the, uh, the uh, soot arrester or the, the spark arrester on the, the top of the boiler. Which is kind of neat. They got all these nice controls, um, lots of lots of you know painting calls out call outs, but these controls are going to be neat. That way I can I can learn what the controls really are on this thing. Great, great, great detail from what it looks like. Ah, we're working on the chassis. And a little bit more on the, the chassis and the front wheels, looks like. Cow catcher, cattle guard, whatever you want to call it. The move them out of the way piece. <laughs> and here we got some more on the chassis the piston for the engine itself some of the linkages and handrails and hoses and bell and the light up front and just some of the finishing touches and Step 63, <laughs> step 63, uh, we're finishing up the locomotive. So, uh, copyright on this is, is 1980. Well, so let's open up these bags. Take a look at this thing. We have some chrome brass chrome plated parts that's pretty nice and the general name tag 
some more chrome plated brass parts and here's our glass windows Ooh, here's the tender. Love me tender. Oh, ho, 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 ho. wow. So this is, is this really one piece? This is one piece? This is interesting. Maybe somebody started this already. Somebody must have started this already. Um, so anyway, here is tender. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Check out the detail, the wooden detail on the bottom here. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, when I saw this, and, and these kits aren't aren't necessarily cheap. And they're going for anywhere between $70 and $100, if you can find them. And usually you can find one or two of them on eBay. Part of the smoke arrestor came off so here's part of the boiler and the locomotive itself drive wheels part of the smoke arrestor and here's the other part it's come off here the detail the the rivet detail looks really good I mean I don't know if you can, folks can see that, but the rivet detail on this does look really good. So I'm interested to see for an MPC kit, because I'm not usually impressed with MPC car kits, so we'll see how this how this builds out. Because we will build this. Good detail here though on the top of the smoke arrester and the diamond plate. Yeah, the detail seems to be good on it. I'll take that right off. Here's our display base. And it's got the, oh, it's got, got ballast molded into it. Looks pretty good. The ties look pretty good. And we got parts molded in red. Okay. The uh, cab and a few other little parts. Wow, look at these drive wheels. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, the cow catcher is one, one piece. That's good. Oh, huh. The top of the top of the cab has some very nice wood detail, wood grain detail here. And kind of like a tar paper top that looks nice. Okay, now we got some gray parts. Hmm. Oops. A couple little parts come off here. Okay. Oh yeah, look at the look at the wood grain the grid wood grain detail on this. Very nice. Now I'm obviously gonna put real wood logs in here. These are not bad. Okay, they're not they're not bad. Um we'll make a neat wood pile like sitting on the side of the <laughs> sitting on the side of the tracks or something. I'll put real wood in, in mine. But Here's these parts. The uh, I don't know what these are called. They're the drive parts that go to the drive wheels. Parts of the suspension. Huh. Here's the front of the logs. <laughs> the front, I guess, that goes right at the end of the tender. That's neat. The trucks. There's some more black parts. Let's see what we got here. Um, so these must be the wheels for the tender. This must be where the tender went. 
Um, just some parts. Ooh, the back face of the boiler. There's some, um, the holder for the whistle, I believe. Some of the uh, interior cab parts. Let's see what these are. Oh yeah, the locomotive frame. And the rails for the display. Uh, couplers. It'll be interesting to see if those are accurate for the time period. And some chains and just some other little odds and ends parts here. And then some odds and ends that just came off in the bag. Uh, a couple of these. So. All right, and I think, yeah, I think that's everything. That's everything that was in the box. Sure is enough. Yeah, this is uh, this is quite the um, quite the kit. There's a lot to it. So I'm anxious to. Uh, get this built this next year we'll get it built this next year and um, we'll see what we decide to build it as because who knows if we'll do the general if we'll do something else so thanks for joining us today folks we will see you again next week on the stat